Dogs have gained the unique title of man's best friend, but these dogs on our list can also be your worst enemy. Today we're going to be looking at 10 of the most dangerous dog breeds in the world. Before we start though, let me preface this. We're not saying that the dogs are naturally this vicious or dangerous. We're just saying this is how they could be. Either way, watch out for number one. They're so fearsome that even the most seasoned of predators have learned to stay away from them. Number 10. The Doberman Pinscher. Let's start this with one of the most feared dogs in the world, and that fear is not unfounded. Doberman Pinschers are one of the most fearsome looking dogs in the world. It has a snarl that would put fear in the hearts of the bravest men, and a booming bark that would make anyone cower in fear. But are these menacing qualities only for show? Unfortunately, no. Doberman Pinschers are famous for their agility and tracking abilities, making these breed of intelligent dog the perfect guard. However, they require a closely monitored training with consistency and patience. If left untrained or trained improperly, they will be quite hard to manage. Large and extremely strong with a bite force that can literally crush bone, Doberman Pinschers are very capable of killing humans. They're also a very sensitive breed and they don't take kindly to people who mistreat them. If maltreated, these monsters can be very aggressive and in most cases attack without any provocation. Number 9. The Wolf Dog. Wolf dogs, as the name tells us, is a crossbreed of domesticated dogs and wild wolves. Whoever thought that those two would make a good combination will probably never know. But due to the traits that it gained from both parents, this breed has some pretty good qualities, and some that can be very dangerous to humans if they manifest themselves. Pack mentality is very much a predominant trait of this breed. As a result, these beasts have protective instincts which can be good for the family that it considers to be its pack and bad news, however, to anyone or anything that it considers a threat. And because of their wolf heritage, if and when they attack, it will be vicious and relentless. Their wild and unpredictable behavior probably resulted from breeding wild animals with common dogs. In some countries, owning and breeding this dog is prohibited. Number 8. The Fia Brasilario. Don't let this dog's docile look deceive you. Also known as the Brazilian Mastiff, they are large and powerful dogs. In fact, they are the largest breed of herding dogs. Healing originally from Brazil, they were used to herd cattle and other livestock. In fact, they've built a reputation of being excellent herd and guard dogs. But being herding dogs, they tend to be overprotective of the herd they are guarding, which may be disastrous to anyone they perceive to be a threat. They also have an aggressive streak, and once they attack, their uncontrollable nature makes it next to impossible for them to be stopped. They are also feared due to their unpredictability. You will never know when this dog will attack. On the bright side, this dog rarely attacks without provocation. The problem is sometimes you just don't know what acts it will consider as provocative. It could be eating out of the palm of your hand one minute, and then literally eating your hand as the next. These dogs are so notorious for human attacks in their native country of Brazil, so much so that attack-related fatalities aren't uncommon. Number 7. Perro de Presa Canario. Just look at that dog and tell me what it reminds you of. If it reminds you of those vicious zombie dogs from the Resident Evil franchise, then we're thinking the exact same thing. The similarities don't end on looks alone, unfortunately, and like the dogs in the game, this breed can be very vicious. Translated from Spanish, this breed's name literally means Canary and Catch Dogs. It's also commonly known as the Canary Mastiff, but believe me, this dog isn't as docile as a canary despite its name. The fact that this breed is a result of selectively crossbreeding different breeds of fighting dogs should be an indication on how dangerous this dog could really be. Although its original purpose was to help out in farms as a farm dog and to herd farm animals, they are also often used in dog fighting rings where they duke it out with other known fighting breeds, which we'll introduce you to later in this list. Let me just point out that dog fighting is highly illegal and inhumane, so please don't support this activity. Nonetheless, this breed is rumored to be a beast in the ring, with most of its winning fights ending in fatalities. Number 6. The Rottweiler. Remember how I mentioned that there were other types of fighting dogs in this list that regularly duke it out with the Canary Mastiff? Well, this is one of them. Rottweilers are a breed of dog that is well known for their fearsome reputation. Ironically, no fighting dog has ever been bred to fight. All of them were bred with an initial and specific purpose. Rottweilers are no exception. They were bred to be farm dogs. In fact, these dogs are one of the oldest breed used for herding farm animals. Being an intelligent breed, they can be taught to do almost anything, but they are most effective herding animals or as guard dogs. 
Rottweilers are very aggressive by nature, protecting their pack and territory with utmost zealousness. They are willing to risk everything. This aggressive nature is what makes them very dangerous. In fact, they're responsible for the majority of dog attacks on humans in the US, and more disturbingly, more than half of the fatal dog attacks in the US are indeed caused by them. Number 5. The Alaskan Malamute, or Malamute. I don't actually know how to pronounce this one. Alaskan Malamutes are one of the largest breeds of domesticated dogs in the world. They can reach an average of 100 pounds, and that size was definitely put to use. They were originally used as sled dogs, their massive size and impressive strength allowing them to pull heavy loads even in the harshest of arctic winters. Their thick coats also allow them to survive below freezing temperatures, even if left out in the open without any shelter. However, in order to give this breed the tools that it needs to survive and thrive in the harsh environment that it lives in, it also develops certain characteristics that can prove very dangerous. Given that the habitat they live in is sparse in food, Malamutes were bred to be natural hunters. No, not for seal or the occasional snowshoe hare. These massive beasts are more than capable of bringing down much, much larger prey. I suppose the real question is just how big, and the answer to that is... Try a bear. Yeah, it's common knowledge that one Alaskan Malamute is more than a match for a large bear. In fact, these dogs feed on them, especially when the hunting is quite bad. If it can turn a bear into a meal, imagine what it can do to tiny old you. Number 4. The Husky Closely related to the previous entry on this list, Huskies or Siberian Huskies are a popular breed of domesticated dog. Also like the Malamute, Huskies originated as sled dogs in the northern regions and this means both breeds share common traits. Although the Husky is a lot smaller than the Malamute, it more than makes up for it in agility. Huskies also have a very striking appearance. Their thick coat always have color patterns unique to each individual dog and that unmistakable face mask that only belongs to the breed, and couple that with their ice blue eyes, they are bar none, simply one of the most beautiful breeds of large dogs. Huskies are also natural hunters, but being smaller than Malamutes, they have adapted in a different method in bringing down prey, and believe me, they can handle a bear as well as any Malamute. Because they aren't as big, this breed has learned to hunt in packs, allowing sheer numbers to make up for sheer size and strength. Husky attacks on humans are uncommon, but they do happen. Oftentimes, it's because the animal is mistreated and or isn't trained properly. Nevertheless, if they do decide to attack you, they are more than capable of bringing you down. Number 3. The Bull Mastiff Bull Mastiffs are one of the largest breeds of dogs in the world. They're bred to be powerful, strong, and solidly built dogs. They were originally bred to be guard dogs, and needless to say, they are excellent in doing their jobs. Their natural protective instincts are next to none, and with consistent and proper training, they become very dependable and obedient. Unfortunately, not all people are knowledgeable enough or equipped to rein in such a large and powerful dog. And this is where the danger unfortunately lies. Because of their primary job, bull massive attacks on humans are fairly common. In fact, they rank second in dog breeds that have the most attacks on humans. Only the Rottweiler ranks higher. But being larger and more powerful than the Rottweiler, their attacks, even if not fatal, can leave permanent physical and even psychological damage to the victim. That isn't saying that their attacks never become fatal. They do, but it is very uncommon. But it's better to say safe than sorry, so if you decide to enter a house uninvited that is being guarded by one of these beasts, you better think again. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Today we're going to be looking at probably the most feared dog breed in the world, and probably because they are considered the premier fighting dog, and also has a bite that literally crushes bone. Number 2. The Pitbull. Pitbulls are a very popular breed of strong dogs. This is the resulting breed when you combine the energy and agility of terriers and the body build and strength of a bulldog. Pitbulls always get a bad rep mainly because of their popularity of being used in dogfights. But Pitbull advocates explain that they are a very misunderstood breed. They are naturally mild-mannered, loyal, and caring, making them an ideal family dog, and you can actually find a lot of videos of them wearing cute little pajamas and smiling. No. They're also highly intelligent as well, and can be trained to do all sorts of things. The main problem here is, couple intelligence and trainability with its unmatched agility and mind-blowing strength, Pitbulls can be very dangerous if trained in the wrong way. Like I mentioned earlier, they are the quintessential fighting dog breed. They often clash with other fighting dogs like the Rottweiler and the Canary Massive in the Dig Ring. 
They even fight against the same breed, and in dogfights when a pit bull is involved, it almost always ends with a fatality. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. The Caucasian Shepherd May the top of our list, also known as the Caucasian Orfchaka, the Caucasian Shepherd can grow very large, weighing around 110 pounds at the minimum. They can also reach an average of 12 years of age, which is a pretty long lifespan for a dog. But this breed did not make it to this list because it's one of the heaviest or because it has one of the longest lifespans. It's here for one reason and one reason alone. The danger that it poses to us and to other animals. Okay, I'll admit I'm being a little overdramatic. Let's meet this dog first and foremost. This breed originated from Russia and other European countries, originally used as a guard dog for protecting livestock in mountain regions. You probably noticed this, but the most dangerous dogs are those who are bred to guard something. But anyway, they become so good at their job that these dogs are even feared by some popular wild predators such as wolves. Now, if their mere presence tells a pack of wolves to stay away, what do you think will happen if it does attack you? Which dangerous dog breed would you like to keep as a pet? Let us know in the comments section below. Want to watch more videos about dangerous animals that you should definitely stay away from? Click on any of the videos you see on your screen. As always, thanks for watching everybody, and I will see you all next time. Later everybody!